Move on to testimony on H1485, uh, filed by Representative Finn, Chairman Finn, an act relative to authorizing supported decision-making agreements for certain adults with disabilities. We will welcome first a, uh, a panel of Jonathan Gardner from the Massachusetts Developmental Disabilities Council and Nancy Gardner from the ARC of Massachusetts. Welcome. Thank you. Goes on. It's okay. <clears throat> I would uh, give me a sec. I would like to thank you all for the opportunity to, in, to testify in support of support decision making and act relative to authorizing support decision making agreements for certain Necessary adults with disabilities. H. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, do I just start over or do I just? Okay. Thank you. Uh, an act relative to authorizing support decision-making agreements for certain adults with disabilities, H1485. My name is Jonathan Garner. I live in East Bridgewater, Massachusetts. I am a 20-year-old uh, decision-maker, cancer survivor who happens to have autism. I have many different types of support and supporters to help me live my best life. I use something called support decision-making or SDM. SDM is an alternative to guardianship, but the person, me, picks a group of people they trust to help them make decisions. I'm the decision maker in my life. I've used support decision making in my fight against cancer, my mental health, and most aspects of my life today. When I was 16, my mother and I were told by school that, by the school, excuse me, that I need full guardianship. This didn't feel right for us. My mom had learned about SDM and we decided to try it in my life. To me, SDM is another tool and choice that I have in my toolbox. I think schools shouldn't pressure families into guardianship. There are lots of other options people can use. I shared by, uh, excuse me, I started by choosing my supporters. I decided on different people who would help me with different parts of my life. My first SDM plan only included my mom, dad, and brother, but as, my, but as I grew older, my plan had evolved, and I added m many other supporters to my team in different areas of my life. Because SDM lets me keep my rights, I can change my own plans as my needs in life change over time. I'm the one in control of my life, not a judge or a guardian. In 2021, I was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma, which is a rare form of of cancer. This was during the height of COVID-19. I was already using SDM in my life, so it gave me some comfort to know I would have support going through this new life journey. However, COVID-19 COVID visitor restrictions made using SDM harder. We had to advocate with the hospital to have my supporters with me at my appointment. A hospital should be required to respect uh, SDM as a way of accommodating people with disabilities. It should be recognized as a right everywhere. Fighting cancer has been one of the hardest journeys of my life. I would not be the person I am today without SDM. For example, when I was six months into chemotherapy and two weeks into radiation, I came home one day and my body and mind were feeling horrible and hopeless. And then uh, I ended up in my bedroom crying and just really wanted to give up. I told my mom, I don't care what happens to me. I just wanted to stop, even if it causes it to kill me. My mom had to take time to process all this herself. But when she came back into my room, she came back as not as my mom, but as my support person. She said to me, Jonathan, I don't know what the answer to this all is, but if you could put your faith in me as your support person, I'm going to try my hardest to help you figure this out. From there, I gave my mom the okay to contact the medical team, and together they all came up with a different plan for me to think about. After the meeting, I was able to talk to my supporters about the plan and get my questions answered, and then I agreed to move forward with it. The plan ultimately saved my life while also taking care of my mental health at the same time, thanks to SDM. SDM SDM truly makes me feel involved in my life. It provides me with choices about uh, when and how I was able to go about receiving my uh, cancer treatments. My, oh, okay. Because of SDM, I was able to let my body and voice guide me with the help of my supporters. I did not have many choices when it came to having cancer, but at least I was able to control when and how I got through it. Full guardianship would have been worse than death to me. I would have lost my choice. If I was not able to pick my support people during my cancer treatments, I would just be a shell of myself now if I even survived. I'm the type of person that needs to have full trust in the people that are in my life. If someone else picked those people for me, I would not fully be able to be the person I am today. I need to make my own choices for my own life. If a guardian had forced me into treatments, I would have been severely depressed damage and not the person I am today. SDM offers more options in my life and I firmly believe that SDM gives people a choice for freedom and a choice of who supports them. Everyone should have the right to choose the way they want to live so they can live their best lives to the fullest. Thank you. I would like to thank you all for the opportunity to testify in support of supported decision making or SDM. My name is Nancy Gardner. I live in East Bridgewater with my husband and two amazing sons. As you just heard from Jonathan, I am not just his mom, but I am privileged to be one of his support people. 
When Jonathan started cancer treatment, no one at the hospital seemed to know about SDM. I had explained that I was not just a parent, I was a support person, and both my husband and I were support people. Therefore, Jonathan needed us both with him to go for treatment. There was a lot of pushback at the beginning. Jonathan's medical team learned a lot from us, and along with their guidance, when Jonathan wanted to stop his treatment, I was able to support him by gathering and breaking down the information and choices he needed to continue the treatment and save his life. As Jonathan's mom, and support person, I can tell you that my greatest worry has always been what will happen when my husband and I are no longer here. SDM has created a sense of security and weight off our shoulders just knowing that Jonathan's voice will be validated by people he has chosen to support him and care for him. His voice and choices matter. Because of SDM, Jonathan has evolved to be a more self-confident individual in his choices. He is self-advocating to a point that I could never have had imagined, and I just want him to continue to guide us on his journey so he can live his best life. If SDM became a law, more people will be willing to try it. Families would not have to fight like we had to and explain what SDM is to so many health care providers. It will just be understood and accepted. Cancer was hard enough to deal with. Families should not have to fight to get the support they need for their loved ones. Thank you. Thank you both uh, very much for your testimony. And Jonathan, uh, we're very happy to see you here today. We're glad you continued the fight. Thanks for coming up and testifying for us. Any questions from members of the committee? Can I just say something? Vice Chair. Um, thank you so much. I met Jonathan recently, and it's really nice to see you here today. And thank you for being such a leader on these issues. I really appreciate it. So thank you. Also, like the the um, shout out to Halloween with your orange and black. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Rip Bob. Talk about Christmas. I'm just going to look like a Christmas tree now. <laughs> thank you. Thank you both very much. Uh, next, we'll welcome up a hybrid panel.